You know, I've um, been a writer and researcher for many years, mostly on paranormal subjects. And, and this, this Blackheart story is very intriguing because uh, it has such a history of uh, paranormal claims. Uh, people have said all kinds of things about what they've experienced in and around the Blackheart home. And I think this is the thing that got me interested in looking into the story. Blackheart became despondent and desperate after suffering brutal financial losses. These would compel the closing of his bank, in addition to the financial ruin and shame he himself would have to face as a result of the economic chaos. So he ducked a run on his bank by desperate and angry bank depositors and slipped away to his home, where, apparently unable to face eternity without his beloved, he killed his wife, May, with a bullet to the back of her head before taking the gentleman's way out himself. As you might imagine, there is a substantial amount of unrealistic folklore that has become attached to the Blackheart tragedy, much of it paranormal in nature. Of course, I, as a historian, find this sort of nonsense a bit far-fetched. Dolly barks at the door and wants me to take her for a walk, and this is how it first happened. And we walk by the black Hearts home. And I see something, but I'm not sure what it is, and then I focus in, and there are people waving, waving at me. And from all pictures that I've seen, they are the black Hearts, the husband and the wife. People think I'm talking to myself, but I ain't. I'm talking to Mr. Henry. I, I gotta see it. I mean, give me something. Show me some levitation or somebody you know, floating in the air, maybe I believe it, you know, but I, right now, no, I'm very skeptical about it, and uh, like I said, I've, I've been around a while, and I ain't never seen anything even close to that. I mean, I, like I said, show me something about it, all right, and then I'll believe you. In my opinion, and with all the work I've done, earthbound spirits, they tend to be the most hostile and vindictive of all spirits because they tend to be tied to either a person an object or a particular place. And because of their ties to this place and the fact that they're still earthbound, it makes them more hostile. They can't pass on, they can't move towards the light. And that tends to make them more angry. Shortly after the stock market crashes 1929, a small town Florida banker shoots his wife and then turns the gun on himself. Eighty years later, there are those who believe Henry Blackheart has come back. The paranormal is a strange place to be. <laughs>